branded ladies and menswear, shoes, leisure wear, lingerie and home furnishing. Dollars. They're not just pets, they're Hollywood pets. Tonight, half eight. Stay with us now for Emma and Zoe's Blessing. workers? No, thanks. Hey, I've been thinking. Will you change your name? What? You know, after we're married. Kim Glover. Sounds good, does it? <laughs> Hasn't even crossed my mind. Well, you did for Frank. Well, come on, eat up. We'll get over to Woolpack, let a few people buy us a drink. David, I thought we agreed not to make a big thing of this. Well, if Frank gets wind of it, he could make life difficult, drag his feet over the divorce. Oh, come on, Kim. He could spin it out for years. I don't care. We've danced to Frank's tune long enough. And he's not spoiling today for us and all. Where is she? I mean, I ask you, Linda, is it normal to want to work on a day like this? No, but that is Zoe for you. Calm down, you've got hours. She can go straight to the hotel and get ready there if she's running really late. I was going to stick this in your suitcase for when you got to the hotel. But I reckon you need it more now. Right, I'll get the glasses then. Oh, you're an angel, Susie. Thank you. <coughs> you really should. <coughs> well, I think a toast. Yeah. I'll get the glasses. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Zoe. Hey, Harry. Fancy a drop of holy water in this? The King's Tears? Please do not mention the Dingles, Elvis, or the King. There's a punch in the mouth, often offends. Hey, you hang around the tea rooms a lot. What do you reckon to this shot? Decent sort of a chap. Seems to have a good business head on his shoulders. Nice bum. Mandy Dingle. May 1996. Did you know he had a record? A prison record? No. Oh, well, he has. So you better watch yourself. Or maybe he hasn't paid his TV license. Or maybe he's committed GBH or worse. Do you think Kathy knows? I shouldn't think so. Are you volunteering to tell her then? Dungaree in sight. Christopher. It's gonna be a lovely day. As though he actually turns up. If she hasn't got cold feet. Cheers <laughs> to you too, Chris. Another drink, anyone? Oh, yes, please. Oh, hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. hi. At last. <laughs> Look at the time. Nerves of steel. Oh, Susie, will you go give her a hand? She'll forget and come down in those wellies, otherwise. <coughs> no, I'll go. Susie's done enough. Meaning? Meaning you've not stopped running around all morning. <laughs> you're a gift. Yeah. So what am I, then? Oh, well, you're just the gopher. Uh, and besides, Linda's got Biff to look after. And Natalie swings both ways. <laughs> I've been thinking, if it'll make you happy, I won't say anything about the wedding while the divorce is getting settled anyway. Thanks. But I'm not keeping Mum and Dad in dark. I'm not letting Frank rob me of that one. And I know what you're going to say it won't be the first time that I've announced to me folks I'm getting wed. But it will be the last. So come on, get your coat and we'll go around. I don't know. Oh, come on, Kim. I'm not saying don't tell them. I just wonder if it's such a good idea my going with you. Well, they're hardly ecstatic about the baby. Well, it's best if you go. Break it to them gently. And send them my love. All right, then. I won't be long. OK. It's all right. Well, I do. You look beautiful. 
be mad at <laughs> Well, seeing as nobody else is offering. So, you're with uh, Kathy, the uh, blonde one. She's your partner? <coughs> well, let's just say I'm working on it. <laughs> I don't think she means that kind of partner better. Oh, no, I didn't mean that. I, I meant in a business sense. Right. But you're working on it, aren't you? Seth? Seth? She's been in a flap all morning. Yeah. I knew she would be. That's partly why I wanted to keep out of her way. Didn't make it worse. Should I pin these flowers on now or wait? No, I'll wait. Let's start with them wilting. I wish we'd put the whole thing out in the grounds now. They did offer, but we didn't know how the weather would turn out. Is Natalie here? Yeah. Good. I can hardly believe this is happening. I remember when I came out, I thought that was it. The odd fling now and again, if I was lucky, but I would end my days as a sad old spinster. Three years on now, look at me. Doing a job I love. Maybe in a village where I'm accepted with this amazing woman who wants to spend the rest of her life with me. I'm not kidding myself. I know it's not perfect. I've been a cow to her. My possessiveness drives her up the wall and her bossiness irritates the hell out of me, but... they're just little things. When it comes to it, I know she's there for me. She'd never, ever let me down. It's why I know it's the right thing to do. She makes you feel safe. She loves me. Yeah. But so do I. This is Peter. Yeah. It's thanks to him we even have a ceremony today. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Zoe's father. Lucky you could come at short notice. Is it true the other victim would have been sacked if he'd gone to a wedding? Ah, uh, well, that's the risk. Well, I think that's terrible. All right, Rachel. Well, don't you think that's terrible? Yeah, of course I do. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm going to cry. I know I am. I should hope so, too. Thank you, Lucky Stars. I'm not on the juice, otherwise I'd be blubbering along with the rest of you. Oh, come on, Frank. Let that macho act drop for one day. What macho act? What you see is what you get. Let me tell you something. And I'm sure Peter will back me up. What makes fathers cry at weddings is the final bill. And this blessing hasn't cost me a penny. <laughs> He's right. I don't know, Frank. And there's me thinking you were a big softy all these years. <laughs> You can't just waltz up to someone on their... on their wedding day, practically, and calmly tell them that you love them. I know. So why do it? Why spoil everything? I don't want to spoil things. Emma's one of my best friends in the whole world. I want her to be happy. I want you both to be happy up here. But truthfully, here... If you're going to be happy, it should be with me. I can't help it. It's just the way I feel. What's going on? Nothing. Are you ready, Zoe? No, nearly. Yeah, well, the vicar's here. Everyone's here. I think Emma wants to get started. Don't know, I'll be two seconds. Thanks for that, Susie. Be down in a minute, all right. Ah, there she is, the best woman. Why didn't you go and sit over there? If he had a whistle, it direct traffic. Hey, about time too. 
Okay, glad you came now. Yes, ma'am. You look fab. So do you. <laughs> Friends and family, welcome. For those of you who haven't already met me, I'm Peter Houghton, and I'll be conducting this blessing today. The journey to this room hasn't altogether been an easy one. And I'm not just talking about the traffic on the Connelton Road. We all know how hard Emma and Zoe have worked to have their relationship acknowledged. And I hope today will be a celebration of that work and of their very obvious love for one another. I also hope that you'll all feel a part of this service and not just an audience. Because it's your interest, your love, your prayers that have supported Zoe and Emma this far. Frank and Susie, Zoe and Emma have chosen you to be their witnesses today. Would you please like to come forward? And now we'd like to begin our celebration with a song especially chosen by Emma and Zoe and performed for us by Natalie. The first time ever I saw your face I thought the sun rose in your the gifts you gave to the dark and empty skies. Your face, your face. Zoe. This ring is a symbol of all that I am and all that I have. Receive it and treasure it as a token and a pledge of the love that I have for you. And wear it as a protection whenever we are separated. I give it to you as a token that from this day forward, we are as one. Emma. This ring is a symbol of all that I am and all that I have. Receive it and treasure it as a token and a pledge. As a token and a pledge of the love that I have for you. And wear it as a protection whenever we are separated. I give it to you as a token that, from this day forward, we are as one. I'm still in Belfast. Still in Inverness. Fishguard. Red Roof. Bridlington. Somewhere down south. No one covers more of the UK population than Salnet. Chris, I'm in Scarborough. Hold on. We live in Scarborough. I know. We let people who can't be together talk. There's hundreds of great deals at Norweb right now. Look at this. A Mitsubishi 21-inch Nikon TV and video package, just $649.99 after £50 cash back. Oi, I want my cash back. £180 off this Hopwood Mistral Frost Free Fridge Freezer. And this Tristy Bendix washer is just £239.99. There are hundreds of thousands of prizes in the new Norweb Scratch and Score cards. Call me, Ed. Oh, sorry. about tough stains? Course not. You add new Vanish in wash to your detergent. Brilliant. Do you really mean it? I don't know what to say. 
him a look at the old country. It was never going to be easy. It was either too quiet, or when we found some life, you enjoy yourself, don't mind me. Never again, I told myself. But then, we could do France next time. Well, he always said it was better to travel than to arrive. It has come to my attention that you are teaching the students rock and roll. Is this a problem? Of all the lives he changed... I will use anything to teach a student to love music. The one he changed the most was his own. Playing music is supposed to be fun. It warms your heart, then steals it completely. If you have the passion, if you have the hunger, then you want to do what you want to do. Academy Award winner Richard Dreyfus, Mr. Holland's Opus. Kim, I get him wed. But it won't be till the divorce comes through. Yeah, obviously. Can you pass this pick lily, please, Mum? Okay. Well, son, congratulations. Cheers, Dad. Yeah. We hope you'll both be very happy, love. Don't we? Yeah, of course we do. So, um... So how come Kim didn't come with you, like? Why? Would you got flags out if she had? She's not feeling too good. I think baby's starting to wear out. He's buying my silence. Or offering you a fair settlement. A settlement's good. He's very generous. Is he the father? I don't know. He could be. I honestly don't know. Well, it's interesting that he's not asking for blood tests or proof of paternity. Your word is enough to set your baby up for life. Yes, but does he have the right to stop me from seeing David? He's only got the right if you give it to him. Well, what would you advise? Oh, come on, you're asking the impossible now. Oh, come on, Sue, I really need some friendly advice. Do you love David? Yes. Do you think he'd make a good father? Yes. Well, from a financial point of view, I'd say relationships go wrong. Partners sometimes often let you down in return for agreeing paternity and giving up david and david you could guarantee you and your child financial security for life emotionally i'd say that good men are hard to find good fathers even more so your husband was car crash 10th of May, 1994. Ask the boys which they'd rather have, the compensation or their daddy. I'm sorry. Here, get this down here. I've just been chatting to Maitre D, all pimples and bum fluff moustache. So you're under starter's orders, lads. Buffy in ten. So, you've gone through with it then? Yes, I've gone through with it, and you've witnessed it. I guess that makes us even Stevens. Who gave them this? Oh, it was a present from me and Chris. My mum's got one like this. How much did it cost? Was it? Yeah. Tell your mum to dig hers out and take it down the <laughs> Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> yeah, I might just do that. It won't be a minute. How much did it cost? <laughs> Linda, what's wrong? 
Nothing, I think. Susie's just feeling a bit off. I'd leave her to it. Is she all right? Yeah, um, I will go over there. serving as soon as Zoe gives the nod. Oh, thanks, Cathy. I'll tell her. I don't know about you, Alan, but I think a toast is in order. Is that the done thing for a ceremony like this? Well, I mean, so it's so important. Well, it is now. Fill your glasses, everyone, please. Where is Zoe? Well, where's Emma, for that matter? I was just upset, that's all. Susie was just offering a shoulder to cry on. And why should you be upset? Emotional, then. You said upset. What's there to be upset about? We've just made a serious commitment to each other. You should be on cloud nine. Lay off her, will you? Who asked you? I'm just saying there's no need to talk to Zoe like that. And I'm just wondering what the hell it's got to do with you anyway, Susie. And how come Zoe's so upset in the first place? Look, people are going to be wondering where we've got to. Can we just go inside, please? It's something and nothing. Just forget it. It's never something and nothing where she's concerned. When she decides to mix it, she does it good style. Hey, Susie? Oh, here we go. You are. Everybody's wondering where you've got to. Whatever she's been saying, don't believe a word of it. Zoe, your dad's inside. He's wanting to make a toast. Uh, I'm sorry. Nobody's going anywhere until I find out what's going on here. I thought Linda were exaggerating. But she were right about you. You wouldn't let it drop, would you? Well, I hope you're happy, because you made a fool out of all these people. You've turned this blessing into a right farce. I thought you had more sense. Safe. Ten minutes, she said. That was nearly half an hour since, and I went without my dinner, especially. Now, get your nose bag in a minute, now. Be patient. Uh, Frank, I think you'd better come outside to having an argument. Right. I could eat a scabby donkey. You may well have to. Come on, I deserve better than this, Zoe. Biff and Linda seem to have more idea what's going on. If you cut the amateur dramatic, someone might tell you. That's rich coming from you. Little Miss Hopeless, no job, no money, no girlfriend, so you think you'll take mine? Zoe's got a mind of her own. Don't blame me if you don't know her well enough. Leave it, Susie. No, she needs to be told. Zoe's been half-hearted about this blessing for weeks. Anyone else would suss it out, but no. You're too desperate to get settled in some twee little domestic. You forced her to go through with it. You brought this on yourself. You... What the... <laughs> What's going on? Has she done this to you yet? She only did this to me once, and that's when I left. Liar! Get her out of here! Come on, Susie. Come on, where? You can come home with us tonight. Oh, don't fall for it, Rachel. You'll never get rid of her. There's plenty of places she could go. You two need to be on your own. Zoe, what's happened? Just, you don't want to know, Dad. I mean it, Zoe. I want her out. Go on. Are you going back to her? Do you think she'd have me now? Will you be all right? Yes, just go. All of you. Sure. Really? I've spoke to them for five minutes. I really think they want to be left. Look, I don't want to interfere. It's just well, a third party often helps. Uh, I think it was a third party that started all the trouble. I'm sorry, Peter. I know you've stuck your neck out for them. I only hope there's no comeback on you. Well, Mr. Turner, I think you've earned the right to say it. Say what? I told you so. All the Viv Windsors of the world are going to be rubbing their hands together on this one. The Viv Windsors may be, but the Alan Turners know. I wouldn't wish this on them for the world. <laughs> Sorry about this. Hey! Don't you go showing me up. Come on. Go in. Hello? Lady? Up here. I know you said wait till the weekend, but I couldn't. What happened to you anyway? Thought you were going for a lie down. I fancied some fresh air. I was hoping you'd hold me bucket for me. Hey, what's up? Nothing. Kevin? What is it? <laughs> Don't you like it? 
I love it. I love it. And I love you. You know, sometimes I wonder about your warped sense of loyalty. I couldn't have just left her there. Emma was all for throwing her out on the street. Emma could have been right. It was for them to sort out, not you. You don't know the first thing about this girl. I know she's a friend of Zoe and Emma's. Was. She's just ruined what should have been the best day of their lives. Zoe happens to be my sister, in case you'd forgotten. And if anyone is responsible for this mess, it's her. For not knowing her own mind. Oh, come on. You think she'd dump Emma for a kid like Susie? Strong reception. I didn't think we needed the room. We could always stay. It might do us good to be away from home, just the two of us. if you want to sort things out. But you don't, do you? So, you do love her? I don't know. I've only known her five minutes. I don't know. But you don't love me. I do, Em, I do. You do, but not enough. Look at me, Zoe. Not enough. Sorry. I'm so sorry. with a report on MCAD deficiency and the dangers of jet skiing. A man with a terrible secret. And you're going to smash her well to bits. You're the one doing that? A woman who wants more. I'm an evil man, Jessica. You terrified me. And what problems have you ever had? A sordid past. You'd be disgusted. But will they ever know the truth? What? He's lied to you. The awful truth. It's the old story. All over again. Shocking revelations. Tonight at 10.40 on Granada. Using spades and forks can be backbreaking. Now tear through your gardening with the Garden Claw. The Garden Claw has a patented design that virtually eliminates bending and lifting. It's all very easy with your multi-purpose Garden Claw. Turn the handles and the steel tines corkscrew into all soils, even clay. It's perfect for mixing in compost and fertilizer, and it's ideal for working around plants and shrubs. Also available the Mini Claw for plant box and container gardens. Available at Focus, Castle Douglas, Heath Hall and Teviot. Jersey, where spring comes earlier and we grow the most delicious new potatoes with a flavour all their own. Jersey Royals, the flavour of the month. This summer, create a beautiful hanging basket with the help of Westland Specialist Tub and Basket Compost. Using both Westland Specialist Compost and miracle Grow will keep your basket healthy for the whole of the season. Available from Cantilever Garden Centre Warrington, Brookside Garden Centre Poynton, All-in-One Rochdale and E.H. Williams Gattaca. Laboratoire Garnier introduces conditioning color that actually cares for your hair. Movida! Movida, the easy cream conditioning colorant. Quick, in just 15 minutes. No ammonia. Movida! Gently blends away first grays with no visible regrowth at the roots. Movida! Brings your natural color to life and really lasts. Movida, easy cream conditioning colorant, formulated and controlled by Laboratoire Garnier Paris.
This Friday, a reconstruction of events caused by one man's passionate beliefs. If you haven't... Okay. Janice! 